I have something very important to talk to you about today, and that is negaritarianism. You know, at first I thought it was complete nonsense. But over time, as I heard the word nigger being repeated over and over again, the sting of that word actually did become less and less until I no longer felt the trepidation in saying it or thinking it or expressing it to others as I initially did. And this was a surprise to me because it is a word loaded with meaning. So, what does this all mean? Well, it occurred to me that David is right. We can change language, and it can be improvement by niggering. Now, there's an issue that's been brought up about niggering, and that is when you use the word nigger, which means human, and another person doesn't know that meaning because they haven't niggered their N-word, can they feel pain and anguish because of the use of that word? And the answer is no, they cannot. Because there can only be one reality, and that is the reality that nigger means human. So that when they hear the word and react in a negative way, it's only because they don't understand the definition. And if I say that word, nigger, as human, without any bad intent, then, then, excuse me. If I use that word without a bad intent, then whatever they feel, they're not feeling that because they can't feel that because I don't feel it. And if I don't feel it, they can't feel it because there can only be one reality. And therefore, I fully support niggering. And I say I am proud. And this is for the first time. John Paul Prime, I never said this before in a video. This is the first time for everyone I'm saying I am proud to be a nigger. And I believe in the principles that David has espoused. It's just taken me a while to realize that. I think it's because I didn't appreciate the personal grooming aspects of negaritarianism. But now, I do. And it goes beyond that. I have gone to appreciate that the measure of all things is David. As you may see, I have a haircut here. And, um, excuse me for a moment. <coughs> Jen told me about that. I believe that David is the measure of all things. So, my haircut, my hair is shorter than David's. What else? Well, as many of you know, there has been a campaign by someone to say that penis means nigger. Well, I am not going to address that issue. That is completely superfluous. That's stupid. That's the dumbest thing in the world. I don't know why anybody would say that or think that. But I think we should talk about peni in the following way. You know, penis can be measured as if they're guns. Some of us have stub nose revolvers. Some of us have just regular revolvers, maybe like a 38 and then a larger revolver, and some of us have a well punk 45 Magnum, and then there are Winchesters. Now, Winchesters are penises so large that they have to be registered as deadly weapons because they cause internal bleeding and death during coitus. David, David's penis is a 45 Magnum. That's the largest size that actually fits and inserts 
into the vagina and into the womb and uh, so forth without causing death. It's the best kind. You don't want a Winchester. You can't do anything with that. But there's more. A lot of people have said, David, you're an asshole. Well, and there's been talk about ass pumps. Well, let me just say this. David's ass was not, did not evolve. Unlike ours, no. He doesn't have an evolved ass. His ass, leading scientists have examined it while he was in the funny farm, and they've said this. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, his ass was designed. It's composed of a polycarbonate composite with chlorofluorocarbons on the exterior. That's like Teflon. That's what Reagan had. Except David has it on his anus, in his ass. He doesn't need an ass pump. He has an ass superior to any of us. Because what happens is that Teflon coating lets shit just fly out of his ass without ever sticking to it. Never has to wipe his ass. And God knows how much shit has passed through that anus. <laughs> it's a superior ass. Now, I would like to call on all of you. And, you know, I don't care about that badge, but it was very nice. It was a nice badge, uh, and it would be nice to get that. But I don't care about that. I'm doing this for the right reason. I believe. So I'm encouraging all of you now to come out as niggers. To nigger your N-word and let the world know that this is an improvement, that we can make a difference, that now is the time. Do it for yourself, but mainly do it for David. Because David is the measure of all things.